That is awesome. <laughs> so we don't have to take that top down. Oh yeah. Well, we, we just got it. We're seeing our new purchase for for the first time. It's a, a Royal Cargo trailer made by Southland, and the big deal for me was two two big deals. One, I can leave my top up, so that is so great. No knocking it down, putting it back. Drive it in and out, not a, not a big deal. And the tubular steel frame underneath, be no repairing like the last one. Yeah. So <laughs> welcome to Trapping Inc. TV. I know, I'm all excited about my new I toy. Know. <laughs> I'm Sandy Mellon. And I'm Rich, and today we are back out on the Martin and Fisher line. Uh, it's been a great winter so far. I can't wait to get on the check today. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter, and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today, the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. Oh, soupy. <laughs> you know what? As good as it smells, you should feel it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's bad when I won't even put my glove on to do it because I'll ruin a glove, but my hands wash, right? That says, damn right your hands wash. They're washing before they come in tonight. <laughs> I'll put a wash basin outside for you. <laughs> That'd be helpful, right? Yeah. You guys got to be careful you don't whap that thing too much and all the gizzards come flying out of there. Oh, I know. It's a good one. Caught a beautiful uh, female fisher here last year, though. Right alongside of a, a swamp. You know, there's a little beaver lake out here, and yeah, it's hard to see it in the trees here, but oh, you can do, there's a beaver house there. There's a beaver house over there. A little bit of a lake. Look at the mink track going right down the middle here. <laughs> There were sure lots of those last year. Yeah, we, it was lots of um, mink and lots of weasel last yeah. year. And Fisher and Fisher and uh, Martin just held their own for numbers. Yeah, which was good. I need to uh, give that a little bit of a a spritzy, a touch up here. I think it's about the last time I should open this today. And we just got a bunch of checking to do. There we go. That was a good year, a fine vintage. <laughs> <laughs> Can get this thing back on the, the rack in the Argo and... Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's so cold that that sheath doesn't bend at all. <laughs> but today's kind of nice and it's it's bending. 
make it a little harder to thread in, but let's go. Rock on. Wow, that's a pretty little fisher. Yeah, looks like it's a fe uh, hard to say, but it, uh, I'm betting it's a female. Just by the size. Males are much bigger, right? Yeah. But males aren't worth the money, the females are. It's funny when you look at the tracks here, you can see how it stopped and started and stopped and started. Then it went this way. Then it came back. Went around before it finally found what it was looking for. What the lure that had drawn it in, right? Got ourselves a nice fisher here. Judging by the size, I'd say a female. Yeah, you can see where it went right up here. Yeah, female. They're the ones that are worth money in the fisher world. Never ever caught a fisher here before. This is one of the uh, two boxes where I catch the white footed uh, Martin. Last one, year. 160? Yeah, that's the 160, yeah. Yeah, it does a great job on the. Oh, there's a jaw sticking in here. <laughs> Managed to hook its teeth in the eye of the jaw, eye of the of the spring. been here a while it's been rained on and it's frozen pretty good that lifts off just like nothing Whew. that's a pretty big female oh, too they're pretty aren't they oh yeah this is what they've got uh, like on their heads and shoulders there that beautiful light colored fur this one's gonna go pale because of how light colored it is yeah you know, usually it's 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 uh, kind of a lighter frosted brown, mm -hmm. but this one is, is gonna will be classified as a pale. And is that a good thing? Uh, you never know what they're what, what on earth they want. I, the good thing is it's a female. Mm -hmm. The female is worth money. Martin, it, it's all about size. Yeah. And I don't know why they still go by the color thing on Martin because I mean. Martin are easily dyed. They 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 take uh, that fur takes dye really well. But uh, oh, you managed to smear some of your old stuff on your. I did, didn't I? <laughs> I saw that coming. Oh dear. It's only slightly bad. <laughs> Only slightly. There we go. I'll hook that back up here. I'll throw it in the fur bag. Hey, you can see the strawberry jam in there, huh? or the raspberry jam in there, hun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, we. You know I what? just about grabbed it. I know you. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> I just about grabbed it. There. Had to work real hard to get that lure up there today. No kidding. <laughs> this uh, I usually just use raspberry jam, but our uh, visitor from. South Africa, they they love apricot jam, and so we had this leftover apricot jam in the in the fridge, and uh, it wasn't much. He was pretty dedicated at eating apricot jam, but that went into the lure this year too. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're catching 
I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a South African thing. <laughs> <laughs> Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Old Smokes Coffee, we slow roast our coffee over a fire, making it smooth and memorable. You can order our smoked coffee online. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Halford Hides, unique beyond compare. Everything for the outdoors. You can shop in person or online from our vast catalog. Range Road Enterprises understands hard work. Our products work as hard as you do. See our full line of firewood processors, sawmills, and more at your nearest dealer. We hunt and trap with our Zeiss Conquest V4 and V6 rifle scopes and the new line of rings. Carl Zeiss Sport Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. There we go. A fish here. Oh yeah, nice male. He's been here a while. Look at a big head on him. I was gonna say it was a juvenile, but. Oh, I don't know. 10, 11 pounds, something like that. Got a nice big head, though. He's definitely mature. They get that big old knobby head, and their ears get so small looking for their head. It's easy to tell when you've got a, a mature fisher in your hands. Nice male. This is. Uh, this box is one of those boxes. Now it has been, well you can see that it should have been replaced, but because it's never caught nothing, I've never bothered with replacing, right? And it has been down there, and it has been up there, but it's always been on the other side of the line, uh, of, of the trail, right? And the other side is the west side, this is the east side. Technically, the west side should be the good side because as anything goes by, you know, the wind is, our prevailing west wind is going to be blowing it over here. You know, blowing it right across their trail, they're gonna, gonna smell it and jump right at it, right? But it just never ever caught nothing and for years. So I moved it, I moved it this year. Like I say, I didn't even bother getting a new box or anything. I just, I moved it over, moved it to the other side. The only thing that's different is this is the sunny side. Now, does that make a difference? You know, are they smelling more or is it keeping a little bit of heat on it? I don't know. I don't know. I do know. I know boxing in rough shape. <laughs> I do know though that's a nice, uh, nice Martin. Pardon me, Fisher. As it starts getting dim tonight, we start just whacking one after another after another, so it's been busy. I get in a, an Argo full of fur. That's a good way to go. Well, this is actually pretty funny. When I drove up, I could see the trap had, had go, had, was out of the out of the box. You get real used to it and see whether those ears are sticking out here or not, right? And then I seen the it hanging here. I seen the white. I thought, oh, I got a weasel. Well, I didn't realize that it was just <laughs> it was just the snow on a on a really nice fissure here. Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be 12 pounds anyway. He's froze good and hard. So I'm just gonna swap out my, my traps. If I call it a him, I'm pretty sure it is. A female seldom to get be that size. This has been a good fisher set, this one. Um, the lake um, that my cabin is on is over here. Uh, about, oh heck. We would be less than a hundred yards, I guess I'd imagine. Something like that. And 
muskrat's still in there? Animals like fish are in that tend to travel alongside. They don't, they won't be down right on the shore. And they, they won't travel on the ice, but they sure, they sure do. They get funneled by that, the, the effect of that, that lake, right? Let's see here. Oh yeah, now, now, in a 160. That's a big one, huh? That is a beauty. The females are where the money is, but I don't mind catching any of them, right? <laughs> Look at that. Driving Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any season, any terrain. See all the new models at your newest dealer. Argo, go anywhere. Southland Trailer Corporation makes the Royal Cargo Trailer used by Trapping Inc. Southland Trailer, behind you all the way. Midland Radio helps you stay in touch in the wild. Check out the new X-Talkers at your nearest dealer. Communication for every adventure. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Do you want even more Trapping Inc? Our private community is where you will find all our exclusive videos, articles, and podcasts. Well, that was a good pickup yesterday. I'll take one of those every day. I've got them hanging in the skinning shed here. And I've got the heat on. Started the wood stove. And just so that I can uh, thaw them out enough to pop the traps off. I'll get the traps popped off and put them back into circulation out on the line today. Well, as we were driving up, I said to Sandy, we used to catch a lot of fish here, and it was just been, it'd been a year, I guess, since last time. We, we never caught one here last, all last year. Well, we got the first one this year, but he got attacked by a pussycat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it always angers me. I mean, my first response is always anger when you when you have something that's damaged, right? Well, and he's a beauty. That, that yeah, it's a male, right? so I mean, it's and he's you know what? He's probably not damaged as much as you think. You know, whenever you see a a, a tuft of hair or whatever. Mm -hmm. But see, he would have been frozen when the cat found him. He's not probably not in that bad of shape. Well, it'll hang higher now, but it's still not going to stop a cat. I mean, a cat can go up as high as, you know, go feet in the air. I don't... Why a cat would do that, I have no idea. That is crazy. Well, we're losing daylight pretty quickly here. Let's get moving. we got a long ways to go. Nice things about the Argo, though. Yep. <laughs> well, I got a trap in my hands. So you know what that means? It means there is a critter a hanging. A critter hanging. Yeah, a nice little fisher here. Yeah. Yeah. Can't see it real well for in here, so I'll come out. That's nice, huh? Very Pretty little female. This uh, trap I put here last year, it used to be right behind Sandy, right down on this drainage. See, there's this, this drainage here. And here's the neat thing that I look for, for a corridor, for a travel corridor. You see how it's all tag uh, alders and willows and that going up and down? So it's a change, it's an edge. This is the kind of places I look for. And like I said, I used to have a box sitting underneath the tree right over here, or underneath these uh, alders right here but it was on the ground. And the dangerous part about that is that uh, the animal lays there too long or whatever, the mice and, and uh, squirrels can do damage. And sometimes, you know, I do a four day check. If I catch him the night that I leave, well, four days he might get damaged. So I moved it up here, but I thought I'd ruined the place. I, I never got a dang thing here last year at all. I'm guessing I need to throw some meat in there. This stuff's extra special. <laughs> I keep... You left it in the other cabin last night, didn't you? Well, I, you gotta keep it thawed, right? Because it, it's cold. 
You know, it's freezing out here today. And if I don't... Don't take a deep breath when you open <laughs> that cabinet. Blech. I don't uh, put it in there, then I can't get it out, right? It's all frozen block, which doesn't do me any good. Look at how the pygmy shrews started into the science experiment. <laughs> That's, of course, the front half of a muskrat. And as it freeze dries, they come in there and they nod off, and they clean off those bones as better than a beetle does. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We got lucky though that that little bit like that uh, lured her, you know? Yeah. That's a that's not a lot of meat there. Well, so, you don't know when the pygmy shrews came at it though. It might have been true. after. True. True. <laughs> wow! What a couple of days of great catch! Intense. Another great catch! It's, yeah. It, the, the Martin and Fisher line has been spectacular this year. Yeah, and it's turned into the Martin Fisher Weasel Mink line. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if we plotted all of this on a map, this is the, the most that we have covered our yeah. trap line ever as far as catches. Like Absolutely. we are now catching from north to south, east to west. Yep. You know, it's scattered everywhere. It certainly is. Yeah. I hope you had as much fun watching us as we've had bringing it to you today. And maybe we'll see you down the line. <laughs> Ooh,